We choose the one. Here. Okay, let me download this. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, so we are doing this for your upcoming test on Monday. So you need to pay for attention. So hopefully you score well uh, in your upcoming test. All right, so let's look. Let's look at this together. Okay, so um, so this is the this is the function. Okay, this is the function. So this function is is um, given as y equals to two x minus one. Okay. So what's the meaning of this? The meaning of this is if you put the minus two into this x, okay, and then you will get a y. Okay. So what's the y? If you you if you put in the minus two. So that's why I see your your working here. So you will end up with minus four, minus one, so you end up with minus five. Okay? So that's the meaning of this function. Okay? So if you let's say if if you, you have like y equals to two x minus one, and then over here you have minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. So in this example, you are given x values. Okay, so sometimes you might not be given the x values. Sometimes you might be given, let's say, you are given the y value. So what if you are given the y value instead? So what are you going to do? Replace the y. Exactly, you replace the y with four. In this case, to find out what's your x. Okay, so once you put in the four, and then how you do it? So you just two x. Uh, x is equal to 5 so x is equal to 2 by 5 okay so x is equal to 2 by 5 in this case okay which is not needed okay which is not needed but I'm just demonstrating to you okay so um, um, this, this uh, by the way to fill up this table right is a giveaway okay it's a giveaway why I say so because what you need to do you just have to key in the all the x values to get all the y values okay so you should double check your answers before you proceed so fill up the table right this one you should score because this is a giveaway you can check it you can double check it for all the values here you know why you need to double check this table do you know why Mm -hmm. wrong. Mm. The mm. B mm -hmm. wrong. Exactly. Okay. So it's very important that you double check all your values in the table. Because if it's, this is one of one of this is wrong, your part B is going to be wrong, your part C is going to be wrong. And then basically this is uh, the domino effect which you don't want. So for example, if you have the table is 2, and this is 3, then this is 3, I don't know. So basically, if your table is wrong, so you don't get the 3, you don't get the 3. Are you clear? Okay, good. So don't play with your pen. Pick up your pen and quickly stop playing with your pen. Okay, good. So with this, so, okay. Um, let me just talk about this, the, 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 um, they say draw the grid right when you draw the grid right you better use a yeah you need to use a ruler okay use a ruler why you need to use a ruler because if you don't use a ruler your scale is to be, your your scale here is going to be so off okay so what i observe here is okay over here i think there is no problem Okay, there's no problem for this side, and there is no problem for this side as well. They look okay, they look fine to me, but there is a big problem for the, the y axis. Why I say so? I just need to insert something. 
So let's say you're telling me this is one cm, right? So yeah. uh, then you just look at this. So you compare this one cm to this one cm. Uh, do you understand me? If you tell me this is one cm, then you how how can this be one cm? Right? So the the the, the I will say the, the okay. By the way, if you have this. Let's say if I call this quadrant one, right? This is quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. So basically, right, your this side is okay. Your this side also looks okay to me, and your this side also looks okay to me. But somehow the the upper the upper scale for the y axis it looks so off to me. Do you agree or not? Yeah. Do you agree? You just you just okay. Next time if you you can't see, right? You just Give yourself a you, you once you once you label all this right you just use your ruler to double check of course there is this one thing you cannot do is you don't go and zoom in understand my point yeah well you zoom in okay it looks like a one to me here but do you you need to notice if you zoom in this right your this one is also zoom already so if this one is zoom in, this one is one cm, right? Then your this zoom in is only two cm. Then I will ask you. So should I use two cm or should I use one cm? Okay. So should I use one cm or use two cm? Hmm. One. One. Then what about here? So are you going to like? Correct, correct this, correct this, and correct this, or you are going to correct just the upper part. Just the upper part. So next time when you do this kind of question, especially on your tablet, you don't go and zoom in and out. You, you basically you just zoom once. Let's say you are happy with this, okay? Fix, fix this at so over here right now is at two hundred percent. Okay, so you just play with 200% you don't go and zoom like make it 800% and then go and do the do the other thing because your scale is going going to be your scale is going to be impacted okay okay so once you zoom stop okay so then after that what you need to do is you just have to plot the points okay by the way when you plot the points right so what what you should do is you should plot the minus 2 and minus 5 so basically right you okay another way to do this question is you just write down minus 2 comma minus 5 on top using a pencil okay so you will not make mistake like like minus 5 minus 2 so what if you make a mistake here let's say you mistake you write minus five comma minus two so which one comes first minus two comes first or minus five comes first minus two. why the mm. X. yes minus so when it comes to yes so when it comes to the coordinate this is called the cartesian coordinate system okay so the x comes first why because when you have the the the, the um they call it the alphabet letters so you start with A, B, C, D, and da, 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 X, Y, Z, right? So can you see that X comes before Y? So that's the reason why it's always a good practice to write down the coordinates here. So that you don't make mistakes later on. Okay? So once you have all this, you just plot minus 2, minus 5. So where's minus 2? Minus two is here, then minus five is here. Okay, good. Then da, 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 da. then zero and minus one. So yeah, you see you are off already. Zero and minus one. Let me zoom in. You are off for the zero and minus one. Where's the zero and minus one? You 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 point to me, you use you use your finger to point to me. Where is supposed to be? Use your finger and point. 
Go ahead. Touch the screen. Yeah. Stay there and then don't move. Your finger is here now. But but you look you look at where where you put the point. You you look at where you put the point. Is it because that if you put the point here, right? Somehow you try to link it up. You don't get a straight line. That's why you force yourself to to put the point there. Yeah. Okay. So in fact, right? Why you don't get a I mean, why you don't Okay, so me, meaning right So basically you somehow you adjust something To fit So basically what you, what you are doing right You are adjusting You are adjusting these uh, points To fit Okay To fit Okay That's what you have been That's what you have done you are adjusting the points to fit. In fact, you should adjust the points to fit. You should... Okay, when you have this, let's say, your point. Let's say you have this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point. And somehow, when you try to link it up, you don't get a straight line. So what are you going to do? Are you going to adjust the points to fit, or are you going to ask yourself, is there anything wrong with the scale? Because if you adjust, if you use the technique of adjust the points to fit, right? Basically, you are trying to put your head in the sand like an ostrich. You are denying the fact that your scale is off. Okay? When you have points, so this is just one example if you have points that let's say you have a point let's say you have all these points huh? and somehow your points when you try to link it up right you cannot get a straight line and you go and force your point right like bring down this and then try to bring up this you know what you are doing you are trying to deny the fact that your scale is off when you have all the points and when you try to link it up they are not link together or they don't go to the point what it tells you is your scale is off and not off by a lot it's off by I mean, it's not off by a little bit it's off by a lot so you should go and adjust your scale is there that's why I say before before I look at your this sketch right or this straight line right I already tell you your scale is off especially the above one all the way okay so next time what you should do uh, check the scale yes make sure that your scale is not off by so much okay so another good practice is do you have something like this at home or do yeah. you your it's not I have like graph paper oh, graph paper, yes so you are supposed to use a graph paper so next time if you are having this question what I suggest you to do Take a picture of the graph paper, black, I mean blank, uh, not like, just, okay. What I'm trying to say is this. So let's say this is graph paper, huh? Of course, you take a, pic, uh, a better one, uh, I'm just demonstrating to you. So of course, you cannot be slanted and all. Uh. So just get this and use this to have you plot the points. You, can you see the, 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 the scale or not? They already have the square for you. Of course, you need to take it from, like, this is not straight so you need to somehow adjust it or take a better one you understand my point yeah uh, I somehow try to adjust it okay so probably something like this okay this is not good enough so make sure that you take a uh, from the top top okay straight top okay so don't adjust your points to fit it okay when you have points that they don't link up together something is not right sometimes it's about the scale sometimes the scale is not right sometimes some one of the points is not right okay so that means when you have something that is not right right something is not right you should check whether the points are wrong or your scale is wrong.
never try to adjust the points to fit. Okay, it's like it, it, it's like what? It's like you already make a mistake, and then how how do you how do you uh, correct the mistake? You try to cover up. When you cover the mistake, the mistake is still there. Understand? So same thing. If you somehow adjust the point of fit, right? Can you see that your mistake is so obvious here? Can you see your, your mistake is still so obvious here? So you cannot convince the marker that you are right here. What you have, you have what you have done here, you are you are just telling the marker, I'm wrong, but I force my way. Okay, so next time when you feel that the points they don't they don't align right in a straight line, you should check the scale first or your this one of the points might be wrong. Okay, so yes, so this is something I want to uh, talk about. Okay, of course, write down the x intersection and y intersection. You know what's the meaning of x intersection and y intersection? What's the what's the meaning of uh, x intersection? It's like a line. Oh, what's the meaning of intersection? Intersection means cross, right? Like they intersect each other, right? Mm. Mm. So x intersection point means write down the point that where the line, uh, where the line cut, intersect with the axis, x axis. So. X intersection means the your this line that cuts the x axis. So if you look at your graph, so basically, right? Once you once you have drawn the graph, you need to read 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 your graph. Uh. Understand? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Good. So, where your graph cuts the x, I see a point here. So what is this point? This point, probably 0.5 and then 0. Why? This is the 0.5, right? Then here is, the x is 0.5, the y is 0, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then what is the y intersection? Where your this cut the y lo. Where where is it? Is here right? Yeah. So it should be uh ne? it should be zero uh this this is zero and then this is minus one. So it should be zero and minus one. Okay, you should write it um okay. You don't label it here, but you better write down uh this is the wrong way to this is the wrong way to label. Not x and y. You should write x intersection point. Not x, ah. Uh. Okay, not x, ah. Uh. So it's x intersection points. Okay. Ah, uh, then uh, of course, then this is y intersection point. Okay. So you label zero, negative one, one and minus one, ma. Not your one and minus one. One and minus one eh, is here, ma. No, I don't see any x intersection here. According to your one and minus one, is there anything in the set here? No. no, right? It should be this point, right? So which is zero point five, comma zero. Then for this is okay. Are you clear? So that is called the uh, x intersection and then the y intersection. Okay, good. So next, do you still have for uh, other materials for your upcoming test? I have one in my math group chat. So are you going to show me later? Yeah. Okay, good. So once again, same thing. This question is a va another variant of the previous one, right? So you can take a seat. You don't have to stand up. Okay, so you have this y equals to 2x plus 2. So what you do, like I say, you put in the minus 1. Okay, then you get all the value. I assume that your, you see, I, I give you the x value for the first two. And then suddenly I switch to this, right? Yeah. Uh, can you see? So basically, right, they, they can give you either x or y then you have to figure out the rest right so so once again once you get all this okay uh, a rule of thumb for you is to write down the write it down okay in coordinate format this is called coordinate format okay so once you get this just get the points so why you don't fill up? Okay, mm. is it off scale? Or okay, number one, let's look at this. This is two and six. Where is two and six? What is this point, by the way? 
This is six and two, right? Did did I ask you for uh six and two? Yeah. Then. So next time when you cannot draw, what what is wrong? It's yeah. either your points are wrong, or you read wrongly, or your scale is wrong. So that means if if you somehow you don't get the line right, you should question yourself. Where have I gone wrong? Can you quickly redo this? Hold on, huh? Okay, can you just because I don't want, want your leg to be on this side because I'm gonna move my knees. Can you just like something like this? Yeah. But can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay, good. Erase the necessary stuff and make sure that the scale is appropriate. Okay? It's very easy to check the, whether the scale is not appropriate or not. If, if you can draw a square, can you draw a square or not? Shape. Is there a way? No, is there a way for you to draw a shape? Wait. No. Okay, no, never mind. Then you just use your ruler, just check. I think it's good that you use a book, something like that, you just, so you lean against it. You want to lean against the book? So that you, is it easier when you lean against the book? Or you like flat? When drawing, I usually draw Flat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Up to you. I will say the the problem is still with the upper one. Okay, so if I look at your, can you look at here first? I see that over here is okay. So how I, I mean, I just just based on my observation, right? So if this is one, right? This one is okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. But here, like every single time, this is the the. The upper one is the the is the problem. Okay, but of course, going forward, right, you are not going to draw the scale here anymore, right? You are going to use the yeah. your graph paper. Okay, so just take a good good one, then always use that one. Okay, 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 good. So just adjust the the y, the upper one. Just adjust all this. No, like I say, uh, left, right, up, down, up, the up, upper part has has problems. So you don't go and adjust the left, right, down already. Okay. So is this going to be tested? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. By the way, you cannot spend too much time, uh, because um, if you spend too much time on this question, you are going to um, have very little time for other questions. So you need to speed up during your test as well. Okay, zoom in for 
this is equal to a fact yet or after zoom no, I, after I zooming out mm, after zooming out it still looks good do you think it looks good just use a real quick quick check Start from zero. Start from zero. No, over there is zero. Uh. Where is zero? Where is zero? Zero against the zero. Very off, right? Both, both are very off, right? Am I right or not? Then how? Can you erase all and do one? Just what do one good one? Stop trying to zoom up in and out. Fix one side. Stop. Stop zooming in and out. Did we not talk about it just now? Because the ruler, right? The ruler, right? What? Ruler. I'm trying to like move. It's, move, it's moving, right? Yeah. What did I say last time? What can you do with the ruler? One ruler. Where's your zero? Can you fit your five, park your five against the zero? Where's the five? Yeah. Yep. Move it some. Huh? Your five and zero, they are not aligned. Okay, is it aligned already? Stop touching your ruler. Use your pen. Slightly note down the scale. Now. Don't touch. There are many ways you can do it. Let me show you. Give it to me. Can you see that they are aligned already? Can you see them? Okay, I'm not saying you need to be so accurate, but go in. Very clear? At least better than yours. Okay? So, there are many ways to this. Do this. So, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, you can also write what? You can also write 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Then you can also write minus two here, minus four here, minus six here, and then two, four, six. Okay? Then you quickly get the line out. What did I say you need to do once you completed the table? What you need to do? Right though. Write what? Negative. Write what? The x-axis and the y-axis. 
what are you talking about? You don't even know how to call this one. Uh. Write them in coordinate form. This is called a coordinate form. This is the table form. This is coordinate form. Write them in coordinate form. Quick, don't waste my time. Just one question. You can't even handle the scale. So ridiculous. We are not talking about concepts. We are talking about simple stuff. Drawing. And you say you are good at arts. Can, can, can you use a darker color or not? Can you use black or not? Can you use a, a thicker line? The line is too skinny. I give you in this this kind of thickness. So you better give me in this kind of thickness. You know how to choose thickness or Oh, okay, good. Yeah, okay. So it should be proportional. Alright? So while you are doing, I just have you mark this. Okay, move, then you have to change the sign for both. So divide by negative, switch sign. Smaller, okay. Wow, you are so ridiculous. Your five is here. Your six is here. Your four is here. Wow, wow, what rubbish. Five is in the middle. What's, what's here, what's here? If you don't know where it's five, can you count from one or not? Where? What's on the left? Or five? I have to count from one. What's on the right? What rubbish is this? Are we talking about negative? I don't know about negative 5, right? We are talking about 5 here, right? So what rubbish is this scale? You don't even know... I mean, if... You, what you are showing here, right? You tell me 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... What rubbish you are talking about? If you cannot manage, can you just write down... Can you write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Can you write this down first for the positive one? Okay? For the negative one, what you should do? Zero, negative one, zero, two. Can you start from this one first? So that you know which one is left, which one is right. Are you clear? So that you don't mess up this. This is basic counting only, okay? I asked my P3 student, my, my P3 student will tell me that 8 should not be here. If here is 8, right, it should be 8, 9. Does it make sense or not? 8, 7, 6. When you write down, did you question yourself or not? Eight, seven, six. Does it make sense or not? Hello. Answer. Does it make sense or not? Eight, seven, six. Huh? They're not answering. I ask you, does it make sense? Eight, seven, six, five. Does it make sense? Oh, you keep quiet. I asked you, does it make sense? 876. That means you think it's, it makes sense. You st or you still need to think whether it makes sense or not. No. Then if it's not, then you just say no. That it does not make sense at all. Simple as that. Huh. Once again. 7654321. Does it make sense or not? 
I'm not talking about your error, I'm talking about the scale. Of course, all this, you move it, you must change the sign. Of course, this, this is another thing. Okay? Like when you divide or times a negative, you need to change the sign. By the way, here is 4, not negative 4. Okay? So once again, the scale is wrong. The rest is okay. Okay? When this is, this is negative. Okay, this is negative. So when it comes to negative, how do you decide? Okay, you tell yourself by giving yourself a simple example. So for the negative, you need to negative 44, negative 40, negative 40. Ah, this scale is correct. But when it comes to positive, this is, does not make sense. If you are not sure, you can always refer to your this. Because you have already drawn here how the positive side looks like, how the negative side looks like. Are you clear or not? Okay? This is back to your drawing. Are you done? Six points only. How many points you have loaded down? I need to draw the one. You draw the? I need to write the one. They are not right too far for you. Because this one is just super negative zero point. Then you just estimate it. You just add it. Can you link it up or not? Yeah. Uh, quite, quite, quite nice, right? I mean, the points are quite, quite aligned. Do all the points align or not? Mm -hmm. Just look at it. Do all the points align or not? Do you need to adjust the points to fit or not? No. Okay. So you don't. You do you know why you don't need to adjust the point to fit? Why? Because sometimes it's the scale. Not sometimes again. Do you know why you don't need at this time? Because the scale is knocked out. The scale is fine. Yeah. What else? Uh, what else is right so that you don't have to fit? The numbers. Like that. All the points? Yeah. Okay. All the points are correct. correct. The scales are fine. Okay. And of course, um, your labeling is good okay 
Then once you have drawn the line, you have to label the line. So give it a name. Just like you have a name. No, 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 no. The line, so you just point it, point it out, arrow it. Don't, wait, 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 wait. don't go and link up. No, 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 not, not this. So you just tell people. Okay, give it an arrow. So let's say you, this is your line, right? This is your line, right? Can you see your line? Yeah. How you label? You either put it above, y equals to 2x minus 1. Or, if it's too messy here, you probably, you can actually extend it out, tell people this is y equals to 2x minus 1. So over here, how do you label? The line is the line, you don't go and give it an arrow. So answer the question. X intersection, Y intersection. Uh, it's X intersection, uh, Y intersection, yes. Y intersection, uh? 92. Mark it up. Where's the Y intersection? Use a different color, mark it up. Where's the X and Y? Use blue, right? Circle it. Okay, good. This point. What is, where is this point? Read the X first. Zero. And then the Y? And two. Two as one. Two. Yeah. You can't even cover it out. You just cover it out, you just can't put out. So next time when you mark, you don't go and mark it until you cover all the numbers. You understand? No? Okay. Okay, next. So, like I say, all this, you have huge problem with all the scale here so next time when I ask you to do scale when I ask you to label the scale right what you should do let's say this is the question right when you do the scale so basically this is what 6 right right yeah. 6 is positive or negative positive positive so Draw a positive line out. Start with? Five. Six. Draw it at the side to help you so that you will not make mistake like this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. What is this? Rubbish. Correct it. And then label. Label x smaller than six and label x equal to three. you do it next to it not right underneath you are not answering the question first you give yourself a positive first negative here so later when you do question you always refer to these two you don't need to keep doing it already are you clear or not clear or not clear this is for your reference okay Reference just quick sketch. Draw yourself a positive one. Really quick one. Draw yourself a negative one. Where you start from? Then when you do questions later, four of this, always refer to this.
So during the exam, use a pencil, draw these two out. Okay? So always refer to this. So you will not make mistakes like just now. Okay. So basically this question this question have the six and the three. So basically you just need to show one, two, three, four, five, six. This is more. Erase also takes so long. What is your ruler for? The ruler is for what the? Stop. Stop touching it. Stop touching it. Just now what I show you. How you do it. Once you park your ruler, what are you going to do? If you can't do it, you stand up. Once you put your ruler, just hands off. Little bit off is okay, not too much. Just now I never use my palm to touch. Just now I try to avoid by touching, you know. Never mind, you can continue. Just now I avoid by, by touching, I, I do it this way. So that I will not touch it. Do you know you can turn your this tablet or not? Can you be more flexible? Show me X more than 6 first. How do you show smaller than 6? Good. Then show me X equal to 3. Mm. Huh? This is the X equal to 3. Equal means what? Hollow or solid? Hollow or solid? Equal. Answer my question. Sorry. Sorry. What did you show just now? Hollow. So are you correct now? No. Okay, good. So now, how do you decide whether yes or no? They say is a solution. So that means whether the x equal to 3 is a solution for x more than 3. How do you decide? You just need to ask whether they collide with each other. So in this case, whether they collide with each other. Collide means collision. Yeah. Why, why, why do you think they collide each, with each other? Because the, the arrow. Yeah. The arrow will ultimately extend and hit the S equal to 3, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So how do you do this question? Okay, you do this question by okay let me just do it here so of course your labeling must be correct first use a ruler so one two three four five six okay so you mark your x smaller than six so this is no equal so it's hollow smaller left side where's your x equal to three here can you see that they collide with each other so if they collide with each other, it's a solution. Yes, x equal to 3 is a solution. Can you do for the rest? B, C, D. In order to help you, right? Then you will not touch it already. Because this is black. There is no way you, you can you can move the thing anymore. You see? Your ruler won't move the screen. Your ruler won't move the screen, right? You ever 
Your pump can rest there already. Still never move it. So you need to be smart about oh, when you use the is it negative or positive? Positive. Oh okay good. So positive you better you better get the positive series correct. So you have four and two. Okay, good. Five and four and two. So this is bigger. If it's too blunt, so you need to. Hmm. Hmm. Do they collect or not? No. By the way, this is x equals to two, not x. This is x equals to two, not x. Do they collect? No. So do they? They don't collect then? No. Not a solution. Okay, fine. You should. What's wrong with your this? That is it. Oh. Your tablet is such a good tablet and you don't know how to use it. So basically, they want you to have some positive numbers, they also want you to have some negative numbers, then how do you decide? At the zero. Yeah? Wait a second. How come suddenly you, you go and create another point? Where should you put the zero? In the middle. If you put the zero in the middle, do you think you have enough points for the right? So basically, you need to have a negative one. Right? Just You just need to have one negative number. So where you put the zero? Here. Okay, you try you put the yeah. zero in the middle. Okay, this is zero. You look, you look, you look at this. You look at this. Zero, the next one is negative one. How will you progress? Zero. Wait, you want to see zero, next one is what? Negative one. So you better write your this with the zero. Better write this with the zero. So tomorrow during I mean okay your test during your test what you should do write this with the zero so that you know how the series will progress yeah this is the correct one go quick bigger you should you give one X equal to negative one. Mm. Do they collide? No. Mm. I see negative three and negative three. So they just want you to have negative numbers. Refer. So you know how the negative will progress later. Ready? 
you see like a tree flag. Mm. No, it's okay, you can have more. You can have more. But you cannot have less. Quite X smaller. Where's your X equal negative 3? Where's your X equal negative 3? Yeah. Plot! Plot it! I ask you to plot. You are labeling, but without plotting. If you need to plot again, plot again. Do they collect? Yeah, they know. Why, why they collect or why no? The arrow is not. The arrow starts from where? Negative 3. Then your point is? Negative 3. Your arrow starts from here. You are here. Collect or not? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Your arrow starts from here. Your point is on top. Collect or not? You have you No. You have you you have done Yeah. You answer yourself. Right? You understand or not? Your arrow starts from here, right? And then the point is on top, right? Collide or not? Yeah. Okay? Good. Okay, over here. Do you know what they are testing you here? Okay, when okay, when when do you change sign? Once again, when do you change sign? If divide or multiply. Multiply or divide by negative numbers. Negative numbers, right? Yeah. Did you multiply by negative numbers? No. So if this is not negative number, so the sign remains the same. Did you multiply or divide by negative number? No. No, so the sign remains the same. And what about here? Did you multiply or divide by negative number? Yes. Yes, so your sign must change. Then what about here? Did you? Yeah. Then? Change the sign. Are you clear? Yeah. So these two is correct, these two is wrong. Why wrong? You have to change the sign. Why? Why you need to change sign? Because if divide or multiply by negative Correct. Yeah, Correct. Okay. Divide must change. Are you clear? Yeah. Hmm. Times also need to change. Okay, how do you decide this one? Must do the equation. Ah, you test no? Just pick. Let's say you pick this one. Minus two, minus one y is equal to minus 3 so the y is not minus 1 so right you test so once you test then you know that is the second one then what's the value of p okay correct okay so, t, so uh, travel 10 km per hour then uh, this is the speed right yeah this is the speed right mm -hmm. then this is the speed from home this is the house to tuition center this is the tuition center to home return ma return journey so uh, find the time from her house so it's distance divided by time is given by distance divided by speed what's the distance what's the distance in this case Ten. Uh, I mean w. Ah, so it's that then or w the distance w. so w the speed is Ten. why you switch it so you use speed divided by distance there's no such formula okay so once again for this formula is 
distance divided by time uh, time is distance divided by speed so what is the distance tuition center to house what's the distance by the way the return journey is the same journey now oh. then what's the speed for the return journey 20. okay good so basically you need to get this and you get this okay so the time is this the time is this so they say the time difference between the two trips is 50 minutes so now we are talking about hour right can you see hour yeah. so what you need to do need to change did you so how you change minute to hour that's the first step yeah so 50 minute to hour question mark 60 minute is how many hour one hour so how do you get the hour out You sure? So what's the answer? I just want to know the answer. What's question mark? Six over five. So this, okay, you tell me what is the factor here first. Times or divide? Divide. Divide by what? Divide over 6. So 60 divided by this, you get 50. Yeah. You, you check, you check. I don't know, you check first. You look at the arrow. The arrow is from the 60 to the 50, okay? So... Divide by 55 over 6 or times? Oh. You check, you check. Divide by 6 over 5, not 5 over 6. Oh, okay. 6 over 5, sorry. Check, 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 check. One more time. 60 divided by 6 over 5. Mm. 50. Do you get 50? Yeah. Okay, good. So that means you need to divide by 6 over 5. Yeah. 5 over 6. Mm. So the answer is 5 over 6. So it means the time difference is 5 over 6. Okay? So now, the time difference is 5 over 6. How do you get difference? What's the operation to find difference? Minus. Ah, what minus what? So that means... Uh, two differences. So, what minus what? So basically, it's what minus what equals to 5 over 6. So that, that's the equation you found. You have what for you to play with? You have the W over 20. You have the W over 10 for you to play with so now the question is which one goes where is it this or or so basically is either this or this is either this or this the bigger one goes first. which one is the bigger one now i want to ask w20 is bigger or w over 10 is bigger change to the same denominator first no, which one is bigger? W over 20 is bigger or W over uh, 10 is bigger? 20, of course. W over 20 is bigger than W over 10, you are saying. How do you decide? I change the same Yep, you change it to the same denominator. So this is 2W, this is 20. So which one is bigger? The 10. Huh? Which one is bigger? Oh. How do you decide? The 10 is bigger, right? Why? Because you got 2W over on top, right? Yeah. So basically, you put the t W over 10 first. So if W over 10 first, then and W over 20 is at the back. Oh. So this is the equation you form. And once you form this equation, can you solve for W? By the way, there is no X here. I'm sorry. So it should be W. Huh? Can you go ahead and do it now? So this time is the difference. Last time, the question is, they not they don't use time different they say total time if it if there's total time what you use add, add what add with what add with the w these two add together will give you five over six but of course the first thing you do is change the 15 minutes to hour that's the most important part
Can you do it now? Yeah, I mean do this. Okay, so bar you at me. Make up the same throw up. Equal to 506. Do you know why equal to 506? Because the time difference. Yeah. So if without the 506, how can you solve? Hmm. Just go ahead. Go ahead. So what is the after this step? Left and right. What's the technique? You forget uh. Left to right, right to left. What's the technique? The cross. Do it, quiet. Hmm, 6W equals to E by. So W equals to So this W is uh, distance So kilometer So how many kilometer? 16 and? 2.3 mm. Okay Okay Good Okay Okay